Good afternoon. It's Shelly. It's me. Hey, I just want to tell you guys a couple things that's on my heart. Um, I want to share with you guys that a story that just happened a couple days ago that um, is a total God story and I just kind of spaced it out. So I want to share with you guys. I think it will encourage some of you. So it was a day that God snuck up on me with a blessing. Um, it really wasn't for me, but it was for someone in conjunction with me. So, so hear me out. So good afternoon. It's around three o'clock. I have had appointments all day. And then I just had an incredible lunch with my dear, dear friends, Jeff and Jen Hatter. And it was such a fun time. Um, anyways, I just want to share with you guys this God story. And so, um, I showed this gal property, of course I won't say names, um, about seven, eight months ago and she wanted raw land and she wanted to build on it. And she was a flower grower and she wanted to, um, you know, do farmer's markets and all that kind of stuff. So we put an offer on this land. She needed to get a loan and the loan did not work out. And so it fell out of escrow and you know, I just didn't know if I would ever see her again, whatever, super sweet lady from out of the area. And um, several months go by and a couple days ago, it was a few days ago, I woke up and I had her heavy on my heart and I was like, hi, I wonder how she's doing. I'm going to call her. So I call her and she goes, you are not going to believe this. I was just going to call you. And I go, what? And she goes, well, you know how, um, our deal fell apart. And I said, yeah, she goes, well, that agent, you must have told her about me being a flower grower. I said, yeah, for sure. I told her, I said, we were talking about you and just, you know, that you're all into that and it's all wonderful. I was bragging on you. And she goes, well, somehow, some way she got my phone number and called me. And immediately I was like, well, she can't do that. That's like unethical, you know? And she's like, pipe down, Shelly. Like there's a blessing that came out of it. And I said, okay. So she says, well, she called me and she says, you know how you couldn't get this loan? And, and, and my client says, yes. And she goes, well, um, I have a client who is a really elderly lady and she's, you know, getting ready to die. And, um, she was giving all of her kids and grandkids properties. And there's this one piece of property that her kids don't want and that I don't want. And we wanted to see if you want to look at it. And she's like, well, no, I'm using Shelly as a realtor and da da da. And she goes, no, you don't understand. She goes, it's a one acre parcel and it is flat land and with utilities. I think there was one utility on it. And she said, and, um, my client wants to give it to you. And she's like, give it to me as in give it to me like free and clear. And she goes, yes, no, no, if ands or buts, she just wants to literally give it to you. So she thought it was too good to be true. So she's like, um, for sure, you know, what's the catch? And she goes, there is no catch. And she's like, you don't have to pay me a commission. Nothing like I don't want it. Um, the kids don't want it. The grandkids don't want it. And I thought of you. And so I was like, oh, wow, that's a trip. And so she met her up there a few months ago and, um, and she literally found out it was like all usable commercial property and she got the property free and clear and um, all the paperwork has been done. And um, and she let me know, she's like, Shelly, can you believe it? I just got a property free and clear handed to me by a lady that didn't even know me, by an agent that didn't know me, all because you told her that I'm a flower grower and I'm this amazing lady. And I was like blown away. And she goes, you know what? you might not be able to qualify or get that other property. She goes, but you know, somehow, some way you must be doing something right because you know what? You just inherited a free piece of property and commercial nonetheless. So I just wanted to tell you guys that is the most random story. That's never happened in my career. Um, I personally don't know this agent. I talked to her on the phone. Um, you would think it was unethical to some degree, but it was, you know, it's really not. It is a blessing. And um, just when I was going to get all up in her grill, I found out like she blessed my client with a free acre. And I have never heard of that before. I've heard of stories, but I've never been a part of one. And so I just want to tell you guys that sometimes God sneaks up on you and he wants to bless you behind your back. Like, it is so funny. My client's like, Shelly, I'm not even really serving God. Like, I'm a Catholic and I'm not really like even pressing into God. And I'm like, Jesus loves you so much and he just wants to bless you. And I just thought it was such a precious story that God snuck up on her. And um, I was a conduit without even knowing it. And, you know, I didn't do anything except for just brag on my client. And little did I know that God was about to turn it and bless her. So I want to tell you guys that not every single time 
that's going to happen, right? But that God is a good God and he wants to sneak up on you and bless the socks off of you. So I don't know who this is for or who needs to be encouraged, but she didn't have a down payment for that land. She didn't have, um, you know, lending. There was nothing she needed because she literally got it given to her. And so there was no credit round. There was no appraisal. There was no nothing. And I thought, what an amazing God story that this precious woman who wanted, you know, a place to do farmer's markets and all that. And so God trumped it, right? Instead of residential he gave her commercial property and um it's just such a blessing and what a precious lady to do that and give it to her who doesn't even know her and how god snuck up and blessed my client so sometimes we're conduit and sometimes it gets right to us and sometimes it goes through us but just be a yielded vessel amen so i did nothing except for brag on my client god used it to bless my client behind my back so sometimes the lord has his ways and we don't know and we don't understand him but the bible says his ways are not high, are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts so um just when you think you couldn't qualify or just when you think all you know all was lost god trumped it and gave her something even better so i just thought that was a really precious story and i was so blown away when she was telling me i was like wait what what's the catch wait what and um i got off the phone and i was so excited for her and just what a blessing what just what a total blessing so whoever that encourages today I just hopefully you'll be encouraged by that story and um, I just want to stop really quick in between um, you know one one client and another and share that God story with you really quick so anyway so Lord I just pray God that you would bless the socks off your people God I pray God that you'd bless them with land and and stuff and 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 Lord you know the hearts of people you know the desires of our heart and um, I just praise you and I thank you Father God that you want to grant us the desires of our hearts so um, I thank you for all the sneak attacks all the blessings God that you're doing behind our backs and I just thank you and I praise you for it amen all right have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and I will talk to you guys later God bless you bye-bye